Hi, this is Susan at Computer Pro, and I'm going to show you a little bit about doing a, a Windows Media Center today. Um, it comes standard with uh, Windows 7 Premium, and it is a wonderful feature that just not enough people know about. In a lot of cases, people don't even need cable TV. You can actually hook a computer, when we build these internet computers here, uh, to your computer, I mean to your television, to your your 42, your 48 inch plasma, and it's a wonderful way to be uh, spend your evening, be entertained. For example, here's a section where you have music. Now I don't have a lot of music loaded on this um, this computer because this is my work computer and um, I don't listen to music at work. But music that would be loaded uh, or uh, any albums, this this whole screen could be filled with potential uh, CDs. Now, for example, if you were to want to play this, um, you would just simply do this and play the album, and then you could uh, listen to your music. Now, just hitting the back button here, um, let me get back out of music and show you a couple of other things. The pictures, uh, let's say, for example, all of your pictures on the computer could be stored here, and then you could just, you know, go through them as though you're going to have, um, you know, can look at your pictures in that way, or you could play a slideshow if you had a um, vacation or something you wanted to share. The other thing you can do is look at videos. Now, you know, it shows all the videos that are loaded on this particular computer, and you can play these videos directly from this. It's a very nice um, platform in order to just see your videos. Now, um, going on, movies. This is fabulous. If you have movies that you are have loaded onto your com in, onto your hard drive, whether you've burned them from a DVD that you bought or whether you uh, downloaded them from somewhere like Amazon.com or uh, then you can store them here in the movie library and actually uh, play them. Now I don't have any movies stored in this computer yet but they would all be here in that case. Now our computer at home that's hooked to our plasma television we have lots of movies on. As a matter of fact we have it uh, networked to a second computer in the in the house where we share movies between the two televisions where we can watch just lots and lots of movies that way. You can actually then go into search and you can search for a particular movie where you can enter that and you can look for the, the types when it was um, actually saved or what have you. Now also, if you want to play a just play a DVD, say a movie, you know this is there is a way to. Uh, I, of course, it's saying I don't have a DVD, a Windows, a DVD in my DVD ROM drive, and so you would just simply put a DVD and then play it, just like it was a DVR. I mean, not a DVR, but a but a DVD pl player. Now, if you were to uh, let's say, for example, you have a membership in Netflix, you simply will open your Netflix and then you can play any sort of movie that you would like to um, from your category and you can stream this you know directly now this is a paid membership um, now let's say for example you want to look at television now this is internet TV and this is something that is highly um, under unknown I mean people don't know about this but you can watch all of these things free of charge on the internet uh, let's say for example um, well, you know, you notice you have all of these bars that you can scroll through of uh, various different types of programs that are available. And then if you will look, uh, each one will scroll uh, horizontally as well so that you can pick a particular uh, movie. Now, all of the, uh, and let's say, for example, you like 60 Minutes. Okay, so you can pull this up and you can see that here are all the full episodes that are available and you can stream these directly, uh, almost commercial free, from the internet to your actual television. And you can watch these whenever you feel like watching them instead of when they come on television. Um, there's a great variety of, of things that you can watch. Again, free of charge 
on the internet. Now, let's say for example you want to watch the news. Now, oftentimes these news shows are not up to date. They may be the day before, but you can actually watch this, the evening news with with Scott Pelley or CNBC or Fox News Flash or whatever you'd like to watch on the internet this way. Um, now, coming up, if you'll you'll notice that you have major networks like CBS. You can open CBS and you can go through, like here's a CBS Fall Preview, you can go through uh, uh, many of their shows that are streamed online and they're right here. So that if you were, you could again select a particular show that you want to watch, here are the episodes that are available to stream today and you can actually play these full episodes with very little commercial. Um, now, moving out of uh, CBS, you'll notice there's a Smithsonian Channel, MSN, MSNBC, Netflix, Showtime. There's quite a bit on Showtime that, again, is free of charge on the Internet that you can just stream to your um, television through a computer. Now, um, there's this, this is a network that's about people that like to cook and some of the things that we've noticed. Now, this is a, there's also classic TV on here. Um, you can see things like, um, you know, Brady Bunch, I Love Lucy, all of the, if you like the classics, there's something for everyone on internet TV. So, um, that's something that is, again, if you have the internet, it's free of charge. Uh, now here is the guide. This is a very friendly and very attractive guide to talk to you about what's on television. And if you have cable TV, you can actually stream your cable TV through your computer and then actually use the um, all of the channels that are available through cable TV in this guide. And then you can actually play them in live TV that way. Um, also, you can search. You can record TV directly onto your onto your um, computer and play it back just as though it's a DVR. So the internet computer actually serves the purpose of the DVR, uh, the DVD, the DVD recorder. It does all of these things. Now movie, if you're a sports fan, this is something that you'd be very interested in. Not only can you stream sports events, but you can check on um, scores you know whatever you know whatever you're uh, interested in different scores college football that sort of thing here's MLB PGA the Sprint Cup NFL um, and you can go in and check all your scores you also can look at players you can follow specific players and you can um, look at this during the game so if you want to pull up and see how many I'm not a, much of a sports um, uh, expert but how many uh, yards rushing a particular player had then you can go in and look at their um, at their statistics and you can see according to um, how they've done this season um, now also you can look at the you can also compare the leagues this way so uh, internet TV again through Windows Media Center is an outstanding way to be entertained to uh, be informed and to do this at a very reasonable price again if you're interested in a uh, computer we certainly build these these internet um, TV computers here at Computer Pro and it is something that I think is really going to take off and be enjoyed. Thank you.